Mercedes is currently focused on electrification, and although the G-Wagon is in the spotlight, the company will still bring updates to the GLS model. The German carmaker surprised its fans with the significant price bump after the facelift, which makes it even more expensive than the BMW X7. But hey, it's a Mertz. It looks good, it drives smoothly, it offers a state-of-the-art interior, and you can even upgrade it with the Maybach package. What's new for the 2025 season? Here are a few things that can make bad things look good. In these video reviews, pricing usually comes at the end. However, in this case, we're addressing the cost right from the start as one of the major downsides. Mercedes is a synonym for luxury, so the high price isn't a surprise, even exceeding that of most competitors selling similar models. It's some kind of a rule that a Mertz will cost two to three grand more than a BMW. The latest GLS sits nearly $10,000 above the X7 after this year's six grand bump. Mercedes could slow things up a bit, trimming some unnecessary features from the base model. The list of gadgets and gizmos will still be long, very long. The upsides are a potential discount and lower price tags across the lineup. Except for the Maybach, which stays around 175 grands. As mentioned, the German company is ramping up its production of EVs. The GLS is using mild hybrid systems for all its configurations, even on the Maybach model. However, these systems don't fix another significant issue, poor gas mileage. Mercedes hasn't dedicated much attention to this aspect for its full-size model, saving improvements for the 2025 season. We could see a larger battery that will boost the fuel economy, currently rated at 18 miles per gallon combined when paired with AV8 engine. While a smaller i6 engine could improve efficiency slightly, it would sacrifice the 500 plus horsepower and 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in under 5 seconds. The fanciest version of the GLS class SUV got cool upgrades with the latest facelift. We thought it was impossible to make the Maybach GLS SUV even more stylish. Designers revisited the front grille and added Maybach logos to the bumper air inlets. You can now choose fancy 23-inch rims and make the price even heftier. With doors opened, special lights shine Maybach logos on the ground to invite passengers inside. The seats are covered in soft quilted leather, and it is up to buyers if they want the white and silver combo, or brown and beige to fit this luxury SUV better. The luxury is never in doubt with Mercedes vehicles. We can talk for hours about gadgets and gizmos, but let's check only a few best things you get when buying the new GLS. For the 2025 season, the company is making small moves, offering three starting setups, without the Maybach model which stands in a league of its own. Depending on your engine selection, you can opt for the GLS 450, GLS 580, or the GLS 63 AMG configuration. Exclusive and pinnacle trims are available, as well as AMG line and night package. The GLS SUV offers fresh graphics design solutions, enhanced camera functions, updated navigation, and some cool options in the rear. Heated seats are standard, as well as armrests, along with chargers, air vents, cup holders, everything you need for a cozy journey. However, the third row isn't too generous with space, and Mercedes will need another update to fix this issue. Don't expect that already in 2025. Here are the basic engine specifications and choices offered by the 2025 Mercedes GLS. The base model comes with a turbocharged i6 engine good for 375 horsepower. The GLS 450 accelerates 0 to 60 in 5.8 seconds, a figure similar to its main rival, the BMW X7 with a 6-pot plant. V8 takes performance to the next level. The 4.0-liter bi-turbo V8 bursts 510 ponies and 538 pound-feet of torque, shaving off a second from that sprint time. With AMG upgrades, the handcrafted V8 stops the clock at 4 seconds flat thanks to its 603 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque configuration. While the Maybach package prioritizes luxury over high-end performance, its 550 horses can still rocket you to 60 miles per hour in just 4.8 seconds. There were 18,000 buyers of the GLS last year. The trend continued with another 10% drop compared to the previous season. The redesign should shake things up. However, Mercedes, the price increase isn't attracting more buyers. 
make your vehicles more accessible to a wider population, and solve the issues with your sales and maintenance network in the US. Thanks. If you agree with us, share this video to spread the word, and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest news.